Sorry, I was muted. All right, so let's get to the video that is in question. Hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. Let's get it. One of my baby fathers. I had one of my baby fathers. I had one of my baby fathers message me about my son's attendance. I get a question like, oh, you know, why is this? This is excessive. This is ridiculous. I know I may not do anything right. Okay, I know I fail in a lot of areas. But y'all little two, three, four hundred dollars of child support a month don't do nothing. Nothing. I want to start right there for a minute. This woman is so freaking beautiful. Like, super beautiful. But she got four baby daddies. And I'm like, what's going on, friend? How? Okay. What's going on, Sir Hale? I got I want to ask y'all something. I just want to ask y'all something. As a woman, how do you get yourself caught up in having four baby daddies? I, I wanna I wanna know, like what have you done? And this woman seems to be like she's about 35. She seems to be somewhat young. But how does a woman just end up with four baby daddies, y'all? Four baby daddies. I have women tell me all the time, well, I didn't choose to be a single mother. Well, how did you not choose to be a single mother? <laughs> this woman, how did she become a single mother four times? And I always look at this as, uh, compare this to jail, like a man going to prison. Hit the like button, hit the like button. Facebook, y'all not hitting the like button. Hit the like button, hit the like button. Facebook, I'm watching you. Jocelyn, you're not hitting the like button. Hit the like button. Mary, you ain't hit the like button. Hit the like button, y'all. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. So my question is, how do you put yourself in a position where you have four freaking baby daddies? Is it true when women say, I didn't choose to be a single mother? Because I want to know how this happens. Like me personally, I have two daughters. I haven't had any more kids since them two. My kids are in their, uh, in their 20s. So that means I haven't had a child in 20 years. How are y'all just out here just having all these freaking babies? I, I, I don't understand. Like, is it a lack of common sense? Or are these guys tricking you? Are they blindfolding you? And you're like, ha, gotcha, bitch. Like, what are they doing? I, I just want to know. I want to know, like, what in the world is going on for a woman to have four baby daddies? And, and it, it, why is it that you can't get it right? Like, I want to have grace for y'all. I really do. <laughs> but it's hard. It's hard. All right, so Femsta UK says, first may be a mistake. The second is just plain stupid. Uh, French toast. <laughs> Third is a, a 304. And the fourth is a fledged pro, full-fledged pro. They're doing it on purpose. How dumb can you? And, and, and that's all I'm saying. So, ladies, y'all love to sit around and just make up these stupid excuses. I didn't choose to be a single mother. Or it takes two to just all this stuff. Because somebody also asked me, if men <laughs> had children, how would the world be? I said, one it, it, one, it would be few children out here. 
And then two, everybody would be married because ain't no man. Oh, friend, my uh, my monetization uh, got suspended for a month. Thank you for uh, reminding me, friend. She says there's no uh, dollar icon con in the chat. I have gotten suspended um, uh, for about a month. Mid-December is when it comes back on for something I did. So that's the reason why there's no uh, super chat. So because of that, it gave me some time because the reason why I ain't been doing uh, YouTube shows is because uh, I've been working on my Patreon. So in the chat, pinned at the top of the chat, join my Patreon. I'm doing the content that I usually do here. I'm doing it on Patreon now. So thank you, Fran, for rem reminding me. I need every single one of you to go to the link at the top and join my Patreon. It's only $10. If you were to drop the super chat, you would have paid $10 anyway. So every last one of you right now, hit the link in the chat that's pinned in the top right now and join my Patreon. It's only $10. If you would have dropped the super chat, you would have probably dropped a five or a $10 super chat, $20 super chat. Join my Patreon instead. So if you want to support the channel, join my Patreon. All of the videos, well, I'm going to say, uh, I'm doing like a video a day on Patreon. So the amount of videos y'all y'all are used to be doing is now on Patreon. So join my Patreon or Cash App is right here, but join my Patreon, join my Patreon, join my Patreon. 10 bucks. That's what you're about to spend on a Super Chat anyway. Join my Patreon. Do it immediately. I need at least 150 people joining my Patreon. Let's do it right now. Take a second. The, it's, the link is in the top. Hit the button. Join the Patreon. And then we keep going. See, when, when uh, something happens, <laughs> like YouTube suspending your monetization, you got to make some different changes. You feel me? So I'm bringing things over to Patreon. So uh, YouTube can play, uh, play games all they want to. Sponsorships and Patreon. <laughs> Y'all want to play with my monetization? I'm going to change some other stuff. Make some changes, damn it. So, it's, it's all good, October 3074. October 3074, hit the Patreon link. $10 only. Just hit the thing. Just hit it. Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. Let's go. How does Patreon work? Don't. Just just hit the Patreon. I, I got you, friend. I got I got you. I got you. Okay, so let's go back to the video. Hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. Enjoy my Patreon. Of Arius. But y'all little two, three, four hundred dollars of child support a month don't do nothing. Nothing. Okay. It don't help me pick up the kids. It don't help me drop them off. It don't help me rest. It don't help nobody take care of the house while I'm sick. Y'all have this mentality like y'all don't have to do anything. Like it's our responsibility. You you live in another state or you live. Okay, let's start right there. She said you live in another state. Not only do you have four baby daddies, either one or a couple of them live out of state. And you wonder why your life is trash. That man lives in another state. What do you want somebody to do? Yeah, these women are. The bottom line is these women are like just ruining their bodies, ruining their lives. And then all they want to do is sit around and complain about the person that they ruin their lives with instead of themselves. And I, I brought up prison a, a minute ago. And the reason why I brought up is this. If you meet a man and he said he went to prison uh, when he was 20 to 22, you're going to be like, eh, all right, I, I still talk to him. It's not going to be a big deal, right? Just like if I meet a woman who had a baby when she was 21, 22. Okay, I get it. You were young, just like the guy was young that went to prison. 
is an even playing field, right? But imagine if you met a man that went to prison four times. Would you date a man that went to prison four times? You went to jail, period, four times. The answer is no. So, regardless of how pretty this woman is, why would you ever have four children by four different men? She might have, I think she has four. She said she has four kids. What's up, Catrell? Why would you have four kids by four different men? Make it make sense. So let's go down this rabbit hole. We're going to go back to the video, but uh, let's go down this rabbit hole. The real reason why you don't, uh, why you do this, ladies, the real reason why you do this is because you don't know how to speak up for yourself when you're having sex with these men. So you meet a man, y'all start dating, y'all girlfriend and boyfriend, the condom comes off, y'all having sex, and at some point, you stop taking birth control pills because it's making your face and your neck fat, all the hormones and stuff. That's the reason why y'all be taking a break from the, from the pills. So for a certain duration or for, for good, you stop taking birth control pills, but you never tell the man to put a condom back on. And you end up pregnant. Or either you, be honest with you, that's really what it is. That's really what it is. You don't have enough balls to tell the man, hey, we need to use a condom because I'm not on birth control. What you usually would do is say, okay, well, just know I'm not on birth control, so don't, you know, shoot club up because I ain't on birth control. But guess what? You end up pregnant anyway. Then you move on to the next man. And then the same thing happens with him. And he gets you pregnant. Now you got two kids and two different baby daddies. But guess what? Turn around and leave that man. And then you, now you have another baby. All because you lack boundaries. You lack the balls to say, yo, I'm not on birth control. Birth control messes up my hormones. We need to wear a condom. Or... We need to stop. I mean, we need to not wear, we need to use condoms until you actually marry me. A lot of these men don't want to be with y'all. Shit, it's women I ain't want to be with. I ain't just going to say these men, me too. We don't want to be with y'all sometimes. We just want some ass. And you sleeping with a man that just wants some ass And you having sex with him with no condom. And then when you have a baby, you don't know him. You don't, he don't know you, really, because, you know, you stupid. You just run around just doing stupid shit. And then guess what? He don't call you no more. He, discipl he disappears. He probably had a girlfriend of his, of his own. And now you sit around looking crazy. But my point is, you have to sit back and look at your freaking life and figure out what you're doing wrong. I did not or have not had any children in the last 20 years. Do you know how much fucking I did in 20 years? They made no child. Why? Because I'm not stupid. Ain't none of y'all finna get me. I 
I'm not running around having no little little little, little random uh, uh hood rat baby. Tiffany says kids are accessories. Right. See, a lot of these children that are being born, y'all want the children. But the second the baby comes, you get a change of heart, or the man gets a change of heart, and now he's terrible. He's this bad person. No, you're the bad person. You are the bad person. Why? Because look what you've done to your own child. You curse your child not to have a dad. Most women will go along with it instead of saying no. And that is what I'm saying, Khalil. I'm sitting here just trying to have grace for y'all. Trying to get a better understanding of you. You like a guy, everything's going good. You ain't on birth control. And he's like, yo, I want to take this condom off. And you don't have the balls to say, no, I'm not on birth control. Keep the condom on. But my question is to you as women, why is it so hard to say no to a man? I'm going to drop the link if somebody wants to come up. Why is it so hard for women to say no or keep the condom on? Somebody said I'm not reading the comments. I can't read all the comments. If you want to leave a comment for me to read, uh, use the Cash App, Aaron1000. Cash App, Aaron1000. Cash App, Aaron1000. You can actually put your message in there, and then I'll see your, 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 your message. So future homes, if you want me to read whatever comment you said, send it via Cash App, Aaron1000, dollar sign Aaron1000. And everybody else, make sure to join my Patreon. You want to know where I've been? I've still been posting videos, but I've been posting videos on Patreon. I'll say it again. You want to know where I've been? Because, you know, I, be, I post almost every day. Uh, I, be, I be going live almost every day. But now, since YouTube playing with me, I started a Patreon, so I'm still doing videos, but it's over on Patreon. So hit the $10, $10 uh, a month uh, choice, is pinned in the chat, and boom, you're good. I think I'm going to do a video, probably two videos a day, but right now I just started up, so it's, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do one or two videos a day. So join my Patreon, join my Patreon, join my Patreon. It's linked in the chat. All right, future homes, your, I need to see your face. I'm not bringing nobody up unless uh, I see your face. But let's go back to the video. If some okay, you sleep when you want to sleep, you're tired. You live in another state or you live somewhere. Else. Okay, you sleep when you want to sleep. You're tired. You come home, you take a nap. If you want to go out, if you want to do something, if you want to clean the house, everything's on your schedule. Okay, I don't have that. I have little people that dictate everything around me. Okay, you don't have to leave your job every five minutes because you get 15 phone calls a day from the schools. You don't have to take every break and every every lunch hour that you have dealing with children and referrals and hearings and IEP. But why did you spit out, out all these fatherless babies? I, I, I just don't understand. You're choosing men because... I'm just trying to get an understanding of, of the woman's psyche, okay? A lot of us men look at you ladies like y'all have zero sense. Like, why do y'all do this stupid shit and then turn around and blame the man that you had a baby with for your stupid ass shit? I'm trying to get a better understanding. Thank you, Terrica. Everybody hit the like button. We need about 120 likes. We need about 120 likes. So everybody hit the like button and join my Patreon. Hit the like button, join my Patreon. Hit the like button, join my Patreon. 
Thank you, Fran. I appreciate you. Fran just joined the Patreon. Patreon is linked in the chat. It's pinned at the top of the chat. It's in blue. But we men look at you ladies like, yo, these women don't have no damn sense. Because we don't really care about your body count. We don't care about how many men you had sex with. We care about the remnants of said men. See, we care about what came from those men. Because if you got four baby daddies like this, this dumbass woman, that means she's letting everybody nut in her. And that's disgusting. And your 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 poom poom, according to what you ladies love to say, it's it's uh precious or it's what do you call it? It's uh it's valuable. But it's a lie. It's not valuable. Let me tell y'all something. There's a case on his phone, right? You ladies, on a normal basis, will walk around with no case on your phone and will lay in the bed and won't let a man wear a condom with you. You ladies are the most irresponsible people on the face of the earth. Because most of y'all don't even have a case on your phone, let alone a case on your ass. No man walks around without a case on his phone. But the majority of y'all walk around with no case on your phone and no case on your ass either. Just let any dude that, that you like or is attracted to run up in there raw. And you want to know why your life is trash. Your life is pure trash. And you don't have anything to show for it but a bunch of little big headed ass fatherless babies. I actually think this is a mental illness. I think something's, something's going on with our women where there, there's something neurologically wrong. And y'all love to sit around and say, well, I didn't choose to be a single mother, but you got four baby daddies. I, I, I just don't understand. I'm never going to understand. Peace. So don't question me on what I do. You don't have to sacrifice where you live. You don't have to sacrifice what you want to do and what you, what you aspire to give your children the best that they can possibly have. This last part right here. Listen to this again. Listen to this with again. With children and referrals and hearings and IEPs. So don't question me on what I do. You don't have to sacrifice where you live. You don't have to sacrifice what you want to do and what you what you aspire to give your children the best that they can possibly have. Um, I don't think you can aspire to give your children the best they can possibly have when you have four baby daddies. Can anybody explain that? How can you aspire to give your kids the best life that they possibly can have, but you keep spitting out fatherless babies right after the last baby just came out. I understand you didn't have a father. Your mother was abusive and your mother treated you like crap. But at some point, Like, what happens to your common sense? What happens to your common sense? 
Some of you got two children and you ain't even 30 yet. Okay, you don't have a you don't have a dad. But what is what is telling you that it's okay to sleep with all these dudes with no damn condom? You just gonna let every dude that that done ran up in you to you gonna let them to get you pregnant? Cause you already know the majority of y'all went and got an ABO probably twice in your life. She finally regrets her life after the fourth baby daddy. This shit is sad. This, is, this shit is sad. Everybody take a second to do two things. Well, three things for me. Or one of three things. Hit the like button. Cash app is Aaron 1000 if you want to support the channel. And three, join my Patreon. My Patreon is in the chat. Is pinned at the top of the chat. Join my Patreon. I got videos on there that you're not going to see on YouTube. Everybody hit the like button. Cash app is Aaron 1000 and or join my Patreon. There's videos on there that you're not going to see on YouTube, like specific videos. Uh, I'm going to try to ramp it up to two a day, but I'm posting a video a day on my Patreon. So you're going to get plenty information and it's information that you're not going to see on YouTube because YouTube trying to play with my money. So I had to make some changes. So hit the like button, cash app. You want to support the channel and three, join my Patreon and Patreon is for you. Hit the Patreon, hit the Patreon that is linked in the chat. So let me, let me play this other video. Is child support the answer? Because I want to ask y'all, we're going to watch this video, and I want to ask you, do y'all run around having fatherless babies so y'all can get child support? Is that the reason why y'all run around having all these fatherless, baby, fatherless babies? Hey. Oh, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, shit. Oh, hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I actually just found you randomly. I was on YouTube and I randomly seen your page and I was like, oh, this is interesting. I think I could join this. So yeah. Hi, everyone. <laughs> awesome. 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 So what are your thoughts? Do you have any kids? No, I'm 23. Um, uh -huh. I am in a relationship, mm -hmm. um, but I do not have kids. However, I grew up with a mom that um, both both black. Obviously, you can see I'm black. Um, my mom is a respiratory therapist and my dad uh, owned his own trucking business, but you know, he was, he wasn't the best dad. I'll just say that. <laughs> okay. So let me ask you this as a 23 year old who don't have any kids. Mm -hmm. What if you woke up 13 years later as her? As who? I had one of my baby fathers. Oh. I had one of my baby fathers message me about my son's attendance. I get a question like, oh, you know, why? Okay. She looks like she's fairly successful, super pretty, upstanding person. Doesn't look like a hood rat, right? You woke up 15 years later, you have four kids and four baby daddies. How do you think you got there? 50 years? Well, see, it doesn't even 15, matter. About 15, 15, 15. 15 years. 20, well, 23, 15 Ten years, even if it is, whatever. I, in my opinion, even though my dad did what he, what he did, I grew up with a mother that only all three of her kids was from one man. OK, now I know there are certain instances in life where you can't necessarily control what somebody is going to do to you. I understand that. Some but of those for, situations happen, but we're not we're yeah. not going to talk about those situations. because I do understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, yeah. you can get married twice and that person still not be you know what I mean? But in this case, four different fathers and still in your 30s, especially as a woman. Yeah. Um, this case, I would say it would have to be the, the woman's fault. Mm -hmm. There is a certain amount of there is a certain amount of I don't know, just because the way I was raised. Now, see, my mom is from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. OK, so she got five sisters and I can tell you from all of them, she's the <laughs> one that was smart enough to decide not to lay down with multiple men. Okay. So how does a woman like navigate her life? Because we men just think these women are just idiots. 
Right. We don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we don't know. We're men. You know, we just yeah. look at these women like, damn, they stupid. How you got four baby daddies? Like, you are you a dumbass? We don't know. So right. I want to learn more. And I'm a coach. So I know some of the answers. But life isn't like uh, you wake up tomorrow, go to work and come home or whatever. That's not your whole life. That's just one day. Right. right. So you have a boyfriend when you're 23. Right. You say you have a boyfriend. Right. Yeah. So say uh, he gets you pregnant. Now that's baby number one. Right. One thing is important for you to know is the day you say you're pregnant, he's out of there. Do you know that? For who? <laughs> he's out of there. Um, This is why you don't get pregnant by a man that's not going to marry you, first of all. So I think mm -hmm. that's extremely important to know. One of the biggest pictures regarding women having multiple baby daddies, especially in the black community, is mm -hmm. we don't understand the extreme importance in marriage. Let me tell you, the women that are listening, even though there are married men who cheat, my dad was one, don't, don't mm -hmm. get it twisted now. Okay. A man will not, look, if he don't want you in your life, he will not marry you. And the thing is, black people are, we're the main race of people that have the lowest rates in marriage. So that's step one. Do mm -hmm. not, women, I'm listening to y'all, as 23 years old, I don't watch my friends get pregnant. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't, my mom's, my mom's siblings, mm -hmm. don't fucking do it. I am telling you, a man that is serious, look, my, my man makes $100,000 a year, okay? Mm -hmm. And I got my, I have my own finances, and it's because of what my mom taught me about the values of men, mm -hmm. okay? Now, okay. all this sleeping around, don't, an another thing, too, is probably off topic. There's only so much you can keep sleeping around before you realize it's not even the fact of if the next man you meet knows your body count, but the universe will catch up to you. Please protect y'all temple. Please do. The, the woman's body is extremely, extremely important. And even though you're not having any man come and man, a man, like you go on a date tomorrow, and he don't know your body count, but the universe does. Just like the universe does okay. know, does know who you sleep with. They uh -huh. know who you don't talked about. They mm -hmm. know that you don't that. OK, if you don't go to church, they know you don't praise God. The universe knows you, sweetheart. This is okay. why I get so confused. You know, loving hip hop. First of all, I know y'all know Erica Mina. And she's mm -hmm. going through the stuff that she went through with. Survival yeah, I'm about to play her in a minute. I'm about to play her in a minute. Oh, so that was? that is a marriage. <laughs> I'm about no, to play her in a minute. Yeah, you can. Okay, so let let let's let's go this let, let's go to this and we're gonna come back. This okay. this is gonna be a good conversation. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Tony, that's crazy. Why? Are you kidding me? Not all of this financial burden with my children is on me. What? It's not fair. When a man shows you who he is, you have to. So I don't want to play the whole thing because the last yeah. video I, I posted from VH run, he blocked my whole uh, uh, video and stuff. But, okay, she got married and now she's upset because um, $4,000 a month apparently isn't enough to make her happy. Right. So what, what do you think about that situation? She got married. Right. So y'all, I'm old school. My mom mm -hmm. was a respiratory therapist, but my father made more than my mom. Did my dad end up paying child support in the long run? No, he did not. Be careful. She knew she made more than Safari. Mm -hmm. She knew the type of, she, everybody knew about Safari. First of all, Nicki Minaj, look, y'all, I know Nicki Minaj can gossip, but one thing about her, she don't lie. And I remember seeing her years ago, mind you, I was probably in middle school, mm -hmm. talking bad about Safari. And I'm like, okay, clearly there's something wrong with this dude. Women will tell you, the universe will tell you when they're not with somebody for the long run, it will tell you when they got multiple baby mamas, they will tell you. The yeah. universe tells who y'all be sleeping with. I don't understand. And with Erica Mina, one, she knew what she got herself into. She, she, you know, she made more than him. But not only that, Erica Mina, let's be honest, she wasn't always the best person. She would cheat on people, lie to people, manipulate people. She thought she was the as beautiful as she is, thought that she was the biggest and baddest. There 
is repercussions mm -hmm. that come with stuff like that, y'all. Y'all can't continue to treat people bad and then expect the world to gift you something in the long run. Right. Because you don't get your consequences now, don't mean your ass gonna be hurt later. Facts. The many a times, the many a times she played people, it goes for men and women. Don't I, I know? I know women y'all looking at, but what about the men? No, honey, I'm, I'm African American. I <laughs> I know what y'all talking about. But a lot of women, specifically black women, know y'all not supposed to be messing with some type with that certain type of man. Y'all mm -hmm. know. And then the stuff y'all post on social media, the city girls and whatnot, talking about some you don't took his, you took his. Uh, t telling the girl you took her man and and all of this. Oh, he sleep with you, but he was just eating my ass earlier. Y'all don't under y'all don't as much as y'all like to talk about the devil and talk about God. Let me tell you, you don't believe in God, then If y'all following that shit, I can tell you it's the devil doing it. Whether you yeah. whether you want to say it's him or not, because uh -huh. God is not God is not gonna <laughs> and he's not gonna entertain no damn bullshit, especially when the biggest prizes in life is a family. A family. With God. Come on now. So Look. the first thing, um, ladies, you have to understand, and I'm glad I got you on. A young lady who hasn't have ki had kids looks like you. You you have your 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 established requirements. A man ain't just gonna knock you up. Your man is about to marry you. I'm assuming. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Uh -huh. And um, how do we replicate you, or how do we get because you're 23 and you're smarter than the majority of these damn women out here. Yeah. How? Let me, so let me tell you. Um, like and I everybody said, hit, hold, on, hold on one second. Oh. Everybody take a second and hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. I need about 160 likes. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. Hit the like button. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine. So let me tell you something. Um, we all know they say, you know, run from run from your oops, run from your like environment or or whatever. My mom has a lot to do with the way I grew up. My mom is okay. a five sisters, okay? Mm -hmm. And um she she did everything right by the book. She cuz there's certain things that life will not prepare you for, let's be honest. But she did do everything right by the book. She got married in her 20s. Mm -hmm. She had children, a successful job, but she Happened to have had been with somebody that, and he did not show that. By the way, let me let me just state and clear. Let me just state that he was not like that in the beginning, and that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. He wasn't like what in the beginning? Uh, the the whole cheat, the whole the whole. Well, I take that back. Yes, he was. This is the mistake my mom. This is the mistake my mom made. So my mom okay. was in her twenties, mm -hmm. and um, you know, doing well. Now she was never that type of woman to call up another woman and bash her. Or say, I don't believe you or because I got him now. She was never that type. But mm -hmm. she always told me the mistake she made was being with the man that was that was she was wife number three. That's the point I'm trying to make. And okay. She always told me that was the mistake she made. And she wishes she, she never she never done that. By the way, okay. she's like making 200 something thousand now. So I'm pretty sure she knows how to fix her shit. <laughs> and okay. she's married. She just got married a couple months ago. But well, I'm your, just, your I'm mom telling y'all. When I went back to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, from because uh, we moved to California for a bit, when I moved back to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and seeing the amount of mothers that quote unquote claim they care about their kids, but the way they the way they treat their damn kids, y'all, all in the mm -hmm. sake of a man, it it makes me sick. And yeah. it does. It makes me sick. And then they mamas like that. They aunt, they yeah. aunties is like that. They cousins is like that. And obviously, back then, you know. Black people didn't have anyone else but black people. So whenever they wanted to put a blame on somebody, it was within black people, other than white people, obviously. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But yeah. what I'm saying is they don't you got to be you you got to be careful in 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 the way you treat your your children, man. I I can tell you my mom was never the type to severely beat us. She was hardly right. even the type to punish us and believe me, I got into some fights with my mom. But yeah. she was never the type of parent to, one, blame other people for her situations other than my father. She was mm -hmm. never the type to come down and, and act like and act like, oh, you know, since he since he's since he's not responding to my text, I'm not going to let y'all call him. My mom was never that type of woman. She was okay. never that type of woman. She would tell him multiple times, look, you cheating on me. Fine. Let's get a divorce. But you need to take care of your kids. Did he mm -hmm. do it? No, he didn't. And now he's suffering, by the way, and she's not. 
She's literally, li- she's literally retired at 40 something years old mm-hmm. and living her best life. She's about to move yeah. out of the fucking country and buy a house. I'm telling y'all, do yeah. not, I re- look, I remember my mom always used to tell me, she, she used to tell me in the beginning too, because I think she was wrapped up in a little bit of anger regarding my dad. And she used to say, date multiple men. And seeing what she went through, I told her, I said, Ma, I can't date multiple men because in the type of world that we live in today, you, mm-hmm. can, you can't do it without them expecting something. And it's true, just like right. just like men can't really date multiple women without them expecting something. It's true. It goes mm-hmm. vice versa. Yeah. And she would, she, we would go back and forth with it all the time because she would be like, but Brie, you never know when the right one's going to come up. And I said, Ma, then I need to prepare myself for the right one. And right. so while I'm preparing myself, he will prepare himself for whatever yes. we need. And she said, okay, you know what? You're right about that. She even stopped dating, got herself back together with whatever bullshit my dad was doing. I'm disabled. That's why the phone is looking a little weird. Sorry. And, it's okay. Um, yeah. So that's, that's what I want to tell y'all. If y'all have kids, I'm not saying, by the way, that, um, oh, the first child you have, it, 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 was, it was a mistake. I'm not saying for you to ever regret your children. I'm not saying for you to ever feel like you're less of love. You are not, sweetheart. You're not. But you cannot make the same mistake twice. Because eventually, Mm -hmm. it stops being his fault, and it's more of your fault. I'm just Yeah. They say, um, they say, fool me once, shame on me. And fool Fool me me twice. twice. No, I'm sorry. Fool me once, shame on you. (laughs) Fool me twice, shame on me. Shame on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I I I just want to just, you know, have this conversation so the women who don't had all these damn fathers babies and run around blaming it on men, I want them to see that there are women out here that aren't stupid. Mm-hmm. You know, all of y'all aren't just these these degenerate of uh, fathers baby making people, you know? Right. Right. You know, there are women who actually have common sense. Right. You know, and value. And, and the values. Thing, yeah. The biggest thing for, for both, the ge- well, I know we in a different world. I might get in trouble for saying genders. But the different thing for men and women mm-hmm. is that both of y'all have to be of value. What you put out there is what you are going to track. Look, attract. Look, when I was in the dating pool, I got so because of what my dad was doing, because he did it when I was young. And my dad wasn't out of the family. He wasn't the out of the family type, just so y'all know. My dad had a career. My dad was married to my mom. My dad came home. So I'm yeah. letting y'all know that it is true. Just because you get married, it doesn't promise you things. Right. But it does. It, it does fix many of the situations. Like, let, 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 let's be honest. Marriage helps more so the children than the, than the women. But the problem is yeah. the women that do get married and I can't hear you. Hold, whoa, 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 whoa. Move your hand. Okay, go ahead. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah. You know, the, the, the point of getting married is is, is supposed to be to um, continue the gene pool, right? This is why generational traumas exist. You are mm-hmm. not supposed to have kids if you are a jacked up person, men and women. Okay. Wait, say that again. Say that again. <laughs> you are not supposed to have kids if you are a jacked up person. Facts. You know, just like they say, look, obviously my mom was born in a ghetto. I know y'all know fucking Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I know y'all know that. I know y'all, Broward County, she was in the slums. Let me tell y'all. But uh-huh. my mom, she was well, out of her sisters that continuously got pregnant. Out of this, out of my sister that continued, one of them is dead from AIDS, just so y'all know. Oh, so wow. Just, and my cousin right now has AIDS. So I'm just letting y'all know. It's not, y'all keep, and this is men and women, because protect yourself, but y'all keep thinking sex is a game. Women, y'all know how sex works. If you don't want no kids, please wrap, please tell him to wrap it up. If he doesn't mm-hmm. wrap it up, Please go on to the next person because y'all are y'all are really hurting yourselves, soul ties. Y'all are literally infecting yourselves with fucked up people because of right. the want of a man. And I yeah. notice a lot of black women, a lot of black women. And I think it's because of the, the lack of fathers in a home, which isn't supposed to. I'm not trying to come at the ones that are in the home. So forgive me. Well, no, but, that's that's a part of it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So I, I know a lot of women look at this and like. The desperation I see, I'm like, look, y'all, all penis ain't good penis. Like, y'all got to stop 
selling y'all fucking bodies for some damn dick. I mean, damn. For set, look, because this was crazy. Why. This was crazy. The whores out here don't even have four kids. Right. Yeah. This this is a proven fact. The whores <laughs> don't even have all these kids out here. Right. This self-proclaimed good girls who got all the damn babies. You know why? Because a good girl is going to look at every man that she dates as the one. Yeah. The next thing you know, she's going to sleep with him with no condom. He's the one. And next thing you know, he's going <laughs> to sleep with the next man. He's the one. And, mm -hmm. and next thing you know, you got four damn baby daddies. Mm -hmm. But the whores, the straight hoes out here, they like, uh-uh. They, they, they reach down and check to make sure the condom on. They, they, right. Uh, what, what, uh, what, what, <laughs> they like, uh, I don't trust you. You feel me? Right. So the hoes are actually smarter than the good girls. The exactly. good girls are running around uh, having all these damn fathers, babies, not even yep. hoes. And talk is cheap. And it's, it's sad that as, a, as women, as women, you get addicted to the constant hearing of, do, do you really love me? Do you this and that? I remember when I met my boyfriend, you know, it, it probably is because of the lack of quote unquote love for my dad. But yeah. I remember when I met my, my boyfriend years ago and well, two years ago, and I would constantly ask him, everything will be fine. I mean, he would literally, even, even during the time of dating, we'd go out, he'd pay for the dates. We'd go, I, I'd ask him, I'd probably need a little help with something. He'd pay for it. You yeah. know, it was never the, he was never the type where I had to beg him to be a man. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I remember it got to the point where I was just like, well, you know, you haven't even said you loved me yet, but we've been dating for four months and for five months. And, you know, you still haven't said those words of quote unquote affirmation that I needed. And he was mm -hmm. like, well, I thought my actions would have been enough. And I had to sit down and think to myself, you know, this man, he, he lets me in his phone. He, well, I'm in Germany right now with him. I, I go everywhere he goes. Okay, mm -hmm. it's 1158 for us here. And okay. I had to really sit down, like when I tell y'all I was an angry ass person, mm -hmm. let me tell y'all I was an angry, bitter black woman is what I was. Like when I yeah. met him, I was like, no, but he also told me, he was like, the reason why I decided to be with you is because you put your foot down. When we got together, I remember he told me some shit like, oh, you know, I just think we're cool dating. And this got to the point where we were seeing each other every day. And I said, oh, no, no, no you're going to be with me. This is how this, I know my fucking work. I'm not going to keep going on dates with you if right. we're not together. That's not going to uh -huh. happen. And weeks later, he came to me. He said, okay, I want to be together. On, a, on our first anniversary, he told me, he was like, I literally got with you because you put your foot down in what you wanted. He was like, that let me know how confident you are. That there lets me go. know that you're willing to strive for things you want without waiting for me because yes. I gave him an ultimatum. I was like, right. Joseph, we're seeing each other every day. I'm mm -hmm. at your house every fucking day. How yeah. many times do I need to see your ass for you to tell me we, we could be together? Right. But y'all women, y'all women, like even when I have female friends, y'all women wait and y'all wait and y'all wait and y'all wait. And I'm like, do you guys not appreciate your youth? Because your youth is important. Your yeah. 20s is the biggest time to, to, to do business, to travel mm -hmm. the world, to to, mm -hmm. get, to 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 you know be in the dating but but be in the dating to find your partner not to yeah. be in the dating to fuck around because when you get to 30s and 40s let's be honest as a woman as a woman sad to say y'all look i don't like to say it either i'm just i bleed like y'all but our value goes down you don't search yeah. for a man when you're fucking <sighs> yeah y'all don't come on because <laughs> let, 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 let me let me show y'all something i, ju I just want to show y'all something this is ridiculous. Look at this woman real quick. This woman is beautiful. Look at her little hair. <laughs> Look at her hair. Like she's so freaking beautiful, but dumb as a box of rocks. And this is what I'm talking about. We men see women like this and, you know, they all pretty or whatever, but... Look at her hair. Like, she's freaking beautiful. and Well kept. She's very well kept. Look like she, yeah. she seems smart. But no, it's she's crazy. dumb as hell. Right. The moment you she know, opens her mouth. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and it's just like we aren't fooled by beauty anymore. Yep, that's we're true. Looking, we're looking out for the stupidity. We're like, oh, she's stupid. Nope, pulling away. Nope, yep. uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? We know I these women ain't got no damn sense. Go ahead. I don't, I don't think women realize either that when you do tell a man, now look, having that many kids from one from one man, it also depends on your age and it depends on how long you were with that guy and then even versus how long you're with him if you were married. Because no mm -hmm. man, sad to say, believe me, women, I, I hate that it's quote unquote a double standard, but we're two different genders for a reason, okay? Mm -hmm. But when men look at you, and let's say you're, you're, say you're 23 or yeah. 25, with three kids and it is from yeah. one man he's yeah. still gonna look at you like okay you were dumb enough to get pregnant this early without having your shit together you were yeah. also dumb enough not to get married it's not the fact that you got it from one man it's the fact of how easily fooled you were at a certain amount of time that's what these men look at they do I yes got brothers, by the way i'm an only girl so y'all can't tell me i'm wrong <laughs> i know i know what i'm talking about they look at how long it took to get you. They estimate the shit in their heads. I'm let me say this. Let, let, me, let, let me say this because yeah. I, I just want to add validity to what you said. Ladies, there's a reason why your man left you the second you said you were pregnant. There's a specific yeah. reason why. Do you know why? Oh, no. I, why? Let me see what you're going to say. Maybe it's what I'm probably, okay. what I would think. The reason why is, and this is just, in our minds, all right? It's just the way we are. We love you, we like you, we appreciate you, we see you as somebody we actually wanna be with you, be with, until you let us get you pregnant. Oh, I see what you're saying. It, it does something to us because we see you as this worthy woman. But next thing you know, you turn around and say, I'm pregnant and, you, and, we, and it, it's just in our brains. We just turn around and say, what do you mean you're pregnant? I'm pregnant. <laughs> so that means you allow me to yep. just knock you up. I ain't had to marry you. You ain't living in my mm -hmm. house. I ain't got to take care of you. Oh, you trash. Yep. So with all that being said, and ladies, y'all might be like, but we got, you got us pregnant. I understand. It's a neurological thing that happens in our brains. You want to know why? I think hold it's me, deeper me, because it shows hold, that. The hold, on, woman, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Um, let me say this. The day you allow us to step all over your boundaries and standards. Right. Mm -hmm. And now there's a, 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 a product of us stepping over your boundaries. We don't want you no more. Virtually every ended relationship when the man leaves the baby is usually either the second a woman says she's pregnant or the first two years of the baby being uh, born. Right. Because we don't want you anymore. It's like having a and And I know we did it, y'all. I know. Imagine I'm driving a, a Lamborghini, right? Mm -hmm. I own a Lamborghini. And next thing you know, I'm paying his car note, I'm paying insurance, but I'm riding around in my Lamborghini, right? But for whatever reason, there's no insurance on it or something, insurance lapse. And I wrecked the Lamborghini. Even if insurance pays for the Lamborghini, I don't want it no more. Right. Even though I wrecked it, I'm the one that wrecked it. I don't want it no more. <laughs> and when a woman gets pregnant by us with no requirements, you ain't put your foot down just like you mm -hmm. said you with your man. Yep. We naturally no longer want you. Yep. We damaged you and you allowed us to. Exactly. So you're nasty to us. That is something that Women may not understand, but we can get you pregnant and then we can no longer want you the second you get pregnant by us. It's like driving a, a, a high end car and we wreck it. Yeah. Even though it gets fixed, we don't want it no more.
So we wreck you. We did it. But you need to understand, ladies, the second we wreck you, we no longer want you. Mm-hmm. We don't want the baby. We don't want you. We don't give a shit. We out. <laughs> we'll just pay child support. We don't want you no more. We don't like you no more. When we get a woman pregnant out of wedlock, we subconsciously don't like you anymore. We don't like you anymore. Is that deep rooted? Ladies, stop letting dudes nut in you. Right. Like it's it's stupid, it's idiotic, and it makes you look like an idiot. And I know you can sit around and say, but he did it. Oh well. But you won't be one sitting around with a damn baby looking like an idiot, just like this other woman in this video. <laughs> so you can sit around blaming men all you want to, but guess what? That man ain't gonna be around for you to blame him. That man is not, not gonna be around for you. They don't see you and your little child. So the day you realize that when a man that you love, when a man that loves you gets you pregnant, he no longer wants you. But go ahead. I just want to say that. Oh, no, no, no. I agree with what you're saying. He, you there? Yeah, 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 I'm here. Can you hear me? He, look, he will marry yeah, I hear you. if he wants you. Don't. Don't ever let a man tell you that he, he that even, even right. if he says he's a, even if he says he's afraid of marriage. Because let me tell you something: my my boyfriend was raised in a pretty bad. He ain't um, afraid of nothing, you. There you go. He ain't Which afraid of nothing, you. I, I do want to say that he ain't afraid of nothing, you. Exactly, and I think what women have to understand, basically, what you what you were saying, I I, I like the fact that you did compare it to a car. Mm-hmm. Because let's let's be honest, when you drive, you know, the car off a lot, it, it depreciates, right? Yeah. You know, the moment you drive that sucker, the moment you turn it on, the moment it gets its, its first mile, it depreciates, okay? Yeah. And I think what these women don't understand is that there is, and it's because of broken homes, there is mm-hmm. value in marriage. Nobody yeah. is going to, look, unless you're getting married in three fucking months after knowing somebody, then okay, you you still had it coming for him to leave your ass or her to leave your ass. You still yeah. had it coming. But yeah. a lot of y'all do not understand what comes with marriage. Marriage has certain things, certain certificates to life that being a baby mama and a baby daddy will never have. You can mm-hmm. literally save your children from financial debt and their generations to come just by being married. And y'all want to keep hearing people say, it's just the paper. It's just the paper. Let me tell you, honey, no, it's not. And if you believe in God, you know it's not. Well, it's money not is just a piece of paper. We value money. So why we value exactly. money, but we don't uh, value uh, a marriage certificate. Exactly. And let me tell you something. There are men out there that still want to marry. Don't get it twisted with this, this generation of, of people that say they don't want to. The problem is everybody's fucking in the same gene pool. That's the problem. Yep. Everybody is sleeping with the same damn thing from eight shit men to eight shit women. Mm-hmm. And then they marry each other, make jacked up babies. I know. Did you see? what? No, they don't people? marry each other and make they jacked up babies. Right. There you go. But you, you seen the um little scrappy thing with mommy, with mama D, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at how many. And I'm not condoning the stuff Scrappy has done. Okay. I'm not condoning stuff that any of these men do. But as women, since we are the ones are the only ones that can bear children, we are the only ones that could affect a child a child's actual life because of that. Unless mm-hmm. you got a very dangerous person, man, you're dealing with, and you 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 need to be careful. But yeah. with the whole scrappy situation with him talking to his mom, and I've said I've even said this for years. I was like, why does he allow his mom? To get in between his women like that. And a lot of y'all know there are mothers out there like that. Especially black women. who Whose mothers are torn to pieces. And they leech off of their sons. And y'all well, know this shit. The reason why is because the there's a there's a there's a um, boyfriend girlfriend thing that goes on with the mom and the son. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, a woman to have a child when she's 15, 16, and the child by the time she's 25, the child is 10. By the time she's 35, the child is 20. Right. 
So um, there is a girlfriend boyfriend relationship between a man and a woman. And he feels so obligated to her because usually when you have a child, when you're still a child, Mm-hmm. Y'all have so many adventures together. You don't got put exactly. out the house. Uh, you had to go homeless. You it's 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 is it's like Scooby Doo adventures because you young and stupid, so your life isn't together, right? Right. So you and this little child is running around having these Scooby Doo adventures together <laughs> because you don't know what to do with your life. It's not stable. Mm-hmm. Yep. Y'all living with these people. Y'all living with those people, and then y'all grow this bond like. You're the only one that understands what I went through. You were exactly. there when I was homeless. You were there when that doc, God did this. You get what I'm saying? So you have mm-hmm. this bond that you think nobody can break. And then when that child grows up and gets with a woman, she's like, you don't know what we went through. Exactly. Yep. We went through something that you don't know about. So Bambi... You can say whatever it is you want. That's this is my man because you didn't go through the things that me and him went through. So it's a me and it's like a Bonnie and Clyde thing. So when a new woman comes in, she looks at her like, you ain't been through nothing. Trauma, you know how trauma. Stuff me and my son been through? Are you crazy? So it's like that. So it's like this Bonnie and Clyde girlfriend and boyfriend, what we been through thing that makes the mom feel like she deserves the attention or the the validation because of the things that her and her son went through because she had them so young or their right. age so close to each other. Yep. Yep. I, I agree with what you're saying. Exactly. And he, he even told her, he was like, do you know, do you, do you know why I am the way I am? And she goes and she says, yeah, because what you see, what your mama go through. No. And he finally says, no, you made me grow up in a crack house. Yeah. I had to sleep with you because you had people smoking dope and, and screwing in my room. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to treat a woman because I had to see women probably get their ass beat by men yep. and, and, and get mistreated. And mm-hmm. she was the damn pimp. She was the pimp. That's what's crazy to me. And I'm yep. like, so many of these women, like I remember. And you I, know I what pimps do to women? Huh? You know what pimps do to women? Exactly. Oh, Why you can see her tall, masculine ass. I'm sure she was slapping around, <laughs> slapping women around. Right. And you know, they say when women get like that, they can end up being a little worse than men. You know, when back then in slavery, they said that it was the white women that was the worst than the white men. Mm. Like, it's like when women get conditioned to be that way, they could be some of the ugliest and evil people yep. you have ever seen. You got to be careful. And Shit, I remember single, I, single mothers are abusive. Exactly. Yeah. Single they are beating the hell out of their kids. Right. That's see, mm-hmm. that's what I was going to mention when I was yeah. in high school. And I remember probably because the way I grew up, my mom wasn't like that. But I remember this girl, this teacher, this black teacher, Fort Lauderdale, yeah. Florida is where we were at. She was telling a story of this little girl and she was trying to make a point saying, see, y'all don't y'all, y'all don't listen to y'all parents. But what mm-hmm. these parents forget is that a lot of times these kids don't listen to you because you're not fucking there in the first place. They have right. to rely on their friends. They got to rely on their cousins. They don't see your ass. And for the mothers that chose the wrong men, now she got a prostitute and fucking strip so they don't see their damn mama either. And Facts. one of the things this woman was saying was she was like, this lady had told her mom, I mean, this mom had told her daughter to stop hanging mm-hmm. around a certain group of friends, right? Yeah. And this girl, I'm guessing, kept hanging around with this group of friends. So the mom comes up to the school the girl stole her phone, stole the little girl phone. She just wanted to make some friends, okay? And yeah. the mom came up to the school and she punched the girl in the face. And I'm hearing this teacher talk about this shit and laugh about it and think it's funny. And I remember being, what was I, 16 years old. And I said, so you think child abuse is funny? There is a reason why she's seeking friendships. My mom was never this type. This is why I'm telling you. Hold on, stop right there. Oh, this, go ahead. Because this is important. And you're, you're younger... But in our culture, child abuse actually was funny. Right. You ever seen on TikTok or Instagram, like, uh, it'll be a woman uh, with a shoe in her hand. Like, it'll be all these little skits about, let let me, you better not do this. It's it's Mm -hmm. a lot, you know, uh, 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 single mother, these skits, I'm going to beat your ass type of stuff. Sadly, it actually was considered funny. Oh, right. your, your mama gonna beat your ass. Uh, it, it, it's, it was always this this uh this this joke, this subtle joking about 
your mother uh, being abusive. You know what I'm saying? Right. And real quick, everybody in the chat, um, if y'all have not watched this video uh, uh, all the way through, uh, most likely this video is going on to my Patreon because uh, this this video is, is it got so good. So anybody <laughs> who wants to see this video uh, in its entirety and along with the other videos that I already got on Patreon, I need every single person in this chat to go to the link that is pinned in the chat right now and join my Patreon. $10, that's all you got to pay. Join my Patreon. Everybody right now, take, take five seconds to go to the top of this chat and click the link and join my Patreon. It's on $10. Ten, Y'all ass has got $10. I need every single person watching right now to join my Patreon. The link is in the chat. And if you watching this, and uh, it's not live. The uh, the link is down in the in the, in the description. I mean, in the, in the comments. So everybody, right now, hit the link that is pinned in the chat and join my Patreon if you want to see more videos. I ain't on YouTube as much as I was because I don't went straight to Patreon. So hit the link and join my Patreon. But yeah, the people in the chat they they remember they talking about women throwing shoes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, it was bad. It was bad. You you younger, so you may not have known that, but yeah, it's it's really bad as far as just the the jokingness of child abuse when we yeah. were young. I knew it. For, I knew it from other kids, not not from my mom. But it, I only experienced that. Well, I didn't experience it, but I only seen it when I went back to the hood. Because yeah. when my dad was doing what he was doing, we were homeless twice, so we had to mm. go back to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And, you know, didn't have a home. And How y'all get homeless? What happened? He, his infidelity made us lose everything. He spent oh. all his money. He spent all his money on hoes. <laughs> oh wow! And he and my dad would get baptized. My dad would go to church. I'm telling y'all, be careful. Hoes are expensive, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. But they wasn't good looking hoes, though. Let me tell you, they was not good looking hoes. You see them? My dad owned the trucking business. He was a trucker, so. If you can't travel with your man, don't be with a traveler. I'll tell you that. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but no, I, I, I agree with everything you're saying. I just think that a lot of women, a lot of single mothers, they take their anger out on kids. And I yeah. also see that because, oh, what's that one? Um, Jocelyn's Cabaret, that one girl. That I've never seen that dumb was, shit, so I don't know. i never seen it's it. Pretty, it's pretty bad. I only I only seen a couple of it and I stopped watching it because I felt like I was feeding into ratchetness and yeah. putting black women down when it's a Puerto Rican woman that's literally yeah. taking charge of the black. You know what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't want to put us on there, but they want to put us on there to make fun of us. So you got to be right. careful. But um, um, when I had seen, there was this girl that was saying that she aborted two twins because the man decided he didn't want to be with her no more. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, y'all need some damn self love. There is not no, there's not enough vagina. There, there's more than enough vagina and dick in the world to not do stuff like this. Y'all get so dependent on one man and one woman and one woman, and y'all don't understand. There are more people out there. Like, don't get me wrong. If I lost my boyfriend tomorrow, I'm gonna be hurt. But there's more people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there, there's more people. Millions like, of people. I, Right. Like nobody is telling y'all not to be hurt. Nobody yeah. is telling y'all to not take a break. Like y'all don't understand how much peace is important. Like when I tell y'all when I was younger, I, I died at birth. Okay. That's why I have a disability. Mm. Now, there are some things that I, I'm not a chosen one unless God tells me I am. Right. I'm not mm. a chosen one. I'm not saying I'm Jesus or anything, but there are certain things that I feel like some people have certain connections to like you could just yeah. tell when you shouldn't be with somebody even mm -hmm. if it's just for a second you could yeah. tell there's certain rooms you shouldn't be in with some people you could tell there's certain conversations you shouldn't have with some people and it's like you have to be a when you're constantly in dysfunction you're not aware of how much how much you're putting yourself in danger yeah like y'all y'all have got to be careful and please raise y'all children Come on now. Just like I saw this video of this, it, you know, one of them damn TikToks. Of course, sadly, they were black. Sadly to say, it was a mm -hmm. black woman and it was a, and her son. And the caption was, 
when your girlfriend comes over and thinks she's the only girl and the mom was like throwing up signs and, and basically saying that she knows her son is one cheating on his girlfriend and inviting multiple girls to the house. I'm oh. like, you cannot expect to wow. find a good man anytime in your damn life if you think that yeah. shit is okay. That would never yeah. happen. Vice versa. It's weird. It is predatory on your child, in my opinion. Because why are you holding your child like as if he's some type of... Well, the mom gets to the point where she knows don't no man want her. So right, she gets to the point where she looks at her son as entertainment. So true, true. him cheating on different girls and him, him having this girl over here <clears throat> and him including her in the situation... Gives her something to do. So right. it's almost like watching love and hip hop in real life. Mm -hmm. You know how to do my have this girl, do my have that girl. It's some jealousy, it's some jealousy over here or some drama over here. Now the, the mom that nobody wants is now living out her own love and hip hop movie through her <laughs> son or her sons. <laughs> oh, love hip hop show. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. No, yeah. but it, it's 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 the truth, and I don't even think a lot of these women women know that men are men are noticing this stuff. Mm -hmm. When okay, so having multiple children is one thing, but when you are treating your son, especially if you got daughters, if you are treating your son like he is bigger than your other children in your life, specifically if you have daughters, and y'all daughters know what the hell I'm talking about, yeah. there is a problem. And other yeah. men sense that too. That's when you start having men coming in and raping your damn daughters when you're paying attention. Whoa, to your whoa, son. whoa! Just, just be hold on. Be careful with the, the, that word. Oh, oh, my bad. Um. Yeah, yeah. Abuse. Yeah, there we go. It's okay. <laughs> okay, and abusing <laughs> and abusing. You know your daughters. I've seen it plenty of times. We all know what we're talking about with them uncles. We know what we talk yeah. about with them cousins. Black people know this stuff, and it kills me that. I think black women are so desperate for like love and affection for men that they just allow this stuff. And you yeah. see it like my mom was never the type. Well, my mom was dating men. She was never the type. Anytime they had a, a bad opinion uh, about about us or whatever, because it was a lot of dysfunction at the time. And she knew mm. that probably we were a lot to handle at the time. So she would know if she could get into the dating field or not, because be careful with that, too. Depending yeah. on what that father did, your children may be a little bit outright. They may be a little bit erate, erratic. I'm just letting you yeah. know. So sometimes it is, it's not okay, sad to say, for you to be able to date because these kids are going through a phase where one, they probably don't feel enough love at home. Two, they're, they're, they're confused. They don't understand why their dad doesn't love you. Like I remember my mom would say repeatedly, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. And us as kids, when we were kids, we had to tell her it's not you. And we would say, no, Ma, I don't understand why I'm even upset, but I know you're not my problem. And yeah. a lot of times y'all get y'all hop in relationship and hop in relationship and hop in relationship. And you're not taking consideration of what the hell your kids are feeling. And you're wondering yeah. why the men that you are meeting at the time see that one, you're not acknowledging your children. You're not putting them first and they leave as well. Mm -hmm. Like my mom always said, she said, well, if they don't like my kids, then I'll wait. And she, right. said, she met a man, let me, doing great. Let me tell y'all, he, <laughs> let me tell y'all, <laughs> she met a man doing great. Yeah. My brother's 17 years old and, and, and he's there with them. You know, they're about to start an Airbnb, buy another house. Y'all don't want to be patient. There is right. a thing called like trauma bonds where you just keep sleeping with people, sleeping with people or, mm -hmm. or having friends and, and y'all are not understanding. You guys are not bonding off of joyful times. You're bonding off of trauma. Yeah. That's why y'all can't get out of the circles y'all in. And stop I agree. inviting people to y'all damn house. Please stop inviting people to y'all house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. It's, it's bad. It's really bad. It's really bad. And I just want to tell you, I appreciate you. Yeah. I love seeing, seeing young women come up here and school these goofy ass women who run around having all these damn babies by random dudes and stuff. And I think because y'all are the future, right? And right. it's important for y'all to actually lead the older women because they ain't got no damn sense. Right. You know, I do see that we are having slight women come out and finally saying that they're putting their foot down. But you know, mm -hmm. what does that look like? 
Huh? What do you mean putting your foot down? What does that look I, like? So, okay, putting your foot down. One thing I noticed that they always tell you in the dating world, mm -hmm. I guess I'll say specifically for women because I'm not a man, so I'll give tips for women. But specifically when they say in the dating world, don't put all your tape, don't put all your information out. Do not put all your information out. However, okay. stop dating without if you are if you are dating to actually find somebody y'all got to let the man know the first conversation i had with my boyfriend when we were at well, before we even met was i said i am looking to be with someone because i'm turning because i'm i'm well at the time i was 22 and he was mm -hmm. like okay well i don't really know if that's something i want at the moment he's 26 now but yeah. you know we can go out and see we went out had fun we got we did the next date the next date the next date and I'm letting y'all know, stop being so afraid to tell a man what you want. Right. A man sees value in you will give it to you. And I'm, right. telling, I'm telling you, he will give it to you immediately. I cannot Fact. stress enough when I realized that I wanted my boyfriend and I told mm -hmm. his, his, his ass and I said, look, um, we better start being committed or else you can't see me anymore. And it's just that damn simple. I'll That's stop it. coming over. But we will not be having sex. We won't go to no movies. There's no point for me to go to a damn movie with you. Why am I going out with you and you don't want to be with me? For fucking what? Facts. <laughs> exactly. Date to be with them. If you want the man, I'm telling y'all. Because men need to also be told, look, we all know that in a household, maybe it's different in this generation, but I'm old school. I want my man to run the house. But one thing I'm not going to do is tell him things is not speak my mind. Mm -hmm. Men have, men no, damn well, a woman that is confident in herself and knows what she wants, she is a keeper and they will lock it down in a heartbeat. I yeah. cannot tell y'all the when we sat down, I said, Look, I want to be with you. Do you want to be with me? Okay, well then you need to delete the women off of your phone. We need to we could go out, have a nice day. We need to establish that this is what it's gonna be. By next week, I was talking to his damn dad. By next week, I was traveling the world with him. Come on, y'all. Tell the men what y'all want. They're they are confused it. just as much as anyone else. I'm telling y'all, sometimes they don't know because you have to also respect from a man's point of view that a lot of us, a lot of y'all women are going out just to be able to eat that day without paying for anything. J mm -hmm. Just to, okay, if you do want to have sex, you do that and then you leave them. But if you have full on attention to be with somebody, I am telling you, men will respect you. They will literally tell you, well, see, um, I didn't know that that's what you wanted. I don't know if I can do that. So I, I, I'm going to let you have your space. They will tell you because they will respect that. Because men yeah. also do not like their time to be played with. I'm just saying. Let me say this. Women, I mean, uh, men are used to dealing with women that literally people please us. Right. She'll yep. do whatever it is that she wants us to, we want her to do. So one of the things that she people pleases is she lets her uh, smash without a commitment. So mm -hmm. it's almost on our end. Why would we say anything? Right. You know, if your dumb ass letting me smash uh, and you come over my house and I ain't got to commit to you, you're the dummy, not me. Exactly. So why would I say something? So I just wanted to make sure she's not saying men don't know what they want. Right. It's that men don't care if you don't say anything because it's up to the woman to say whoa 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 we're using a mm -hmm. condom whoa 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 you're not having sex whoa 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 you gotta marry me whoa 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 you're not gonna talk to me like that you know yep. what I'm saying so it's not her saying you need to be with me you need to no it's about <laughs> establishing requirements and standards and say hey I just want to let you know that I want this if you can't give me this I'll just go somewhere else. Exactly. So she's not yelling at no man like you got to do this, da, da. right? No, right. No requirements. <laughs> you know. Yep. Because we, I'm sorry, I know we got to go because there are posts that are coming out like the whole Andrew Tate thing. Okay, mm -hmm. like if 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 you did have you know sex before marriage, okay, fine. If you did, um, if, if you're not a marriage, I mean, if you're not uh a virgin in your 20s, okay, fine, okay. Just don't continue the same repetitive thing. And I noticed yeah. that a lot of times these these men that don't give a damn about women will bash you for things that you have done. Now, unless you have a product like a baby that's a little different because now men can make the full judgment of your choices just by knowing the fact that you had a kid out of wedlock. So be careful mm -hmm. with that. But um, 
what I'm trying to say is it's okay, it's okay to let him know exactly what you want. No, I did not yell at him like that, but we did sit down and I said, look, I'm investing so much of my time with you. I need to know if you're in the same boat as me. And if you're yes. not, we have to break this up. Do not tell if he can't make a decision, don't text him that same day. Wait for him to make a choice because sometimes the men do not know right then and there. Sometimes they don't. They and he make a decision about- to say, all right, I just let her go. You can't let you gotta let you gotta let yourself be let go if you ain't the one. You're right. Exactly. Yeah. And it's it's mm-hmm. like I hear so many times, well, I'm gonna wait to see if he's gonna ask me. Wait for what? You guys don't have any fucking commitment. Why would he ask you when you keep giving him ass every day without him having to even ask for that? I don't understand. Right. Y'all know the, the most important thing for a woman, and it's sad to say, is the woman's image, the woman's body, and the fact that she could bear children. I know that mm-hmm. sounds so sick. I know it sounds nasty. But we are made women and men for a reason. Just why, just like you can look at men and say he needs to be the provider. And you're goddamn yeah. right. You need to not only mm-hmm. take care of the household, but he needs to, provo- to, pro- to provide for it. And it's yeah. like, y'all want to be so much. It's I find it so it's so hard for a lot of black women to be quote unquote feminine because we grow up the way we do. We grow up extremely hard. But it's like your phone's starting to break up a little bit. <clears throat> what you say? Your, your your phone is like getting worse or something like that. Like you're starting to freeze up and stuff. Oh. Did, did something change? Your phone just free, froze up. Oh, okay. What's that? Freezing. Huh? Uh oh. Well, uh, shout out to you, uh, sis. Uh, I don't know what happened to your phone, but you were literally spitting fire. And I want to appreciate you for coming up. I don't know what her phone may have gotten hot or something. I don't know what happened. But. I need everybody in here to join my Patreon. Go to the link in the chat. Join my Patreon. It's only $10. Everybody do it. Go go do it right now. Join my Patreon. If you're just coming in, this young lady was spitting facts for a good 30 minutes. This video is going to go on private. The second is over and it's going on Patreon. And I got other videos on Patreon. I'm putting a whole bunch of stuff on Patreon, 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 Patreon. YouTube don't demonetize me for a month, and I'm taking all my videos, my new videos, putting it on Patreon. So everybody go to the link that is pinned in this chat and hit the link and join my Patreon. Hit the link in the chat. Hit the link in the chat. Hit the like button, of course. And if you want to support the channel, hit the cash app, which is Aaron1000. What is this? Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so for those who didn't watch this, see see this video, we're gonna play this and I may be out. I had one of my baby fathers. I I had one of my baby fathers message me about my son's attendance. I get a question like, oh, you know, why is this? This is excessive, this is ridiculous. I know I may not right okay i know i fail in a lot of areas but y'all little two three four hundred dollars of child support a month don't do nothing nothing okay it don't help me pick up the kids it don't help me drop them off it don't help me rest it don't help nobody take care of the house while i'm sick y'all have this mentality like y'all don't have to do anything like it's our responsibility you you live in another state or you live somewhere else okay you sleep when you want to sleep you're tired you come home you take a nap if you want to go out you want to do something if you want to clean house everything's on your schedule okay i don't have that i have little people that dictate everything around me okay you don't have to leave your job every five minutes because you get 15 phone calls a day from the schools you don't have to take every break and every every lunch hour that you have dealing with children and referrals and hearings and ieps so don't question me on what i one question that i want to ask you uh ladies um, why is this dumbass woman yelling into her phone on TikTok? Can anybody explain that? 
She's not even talking to the man that she's mad at. She's talking to her, her, her TikTok following. Why is this dumbass woman doing all this yelling into the phone and the person that she's talking to isn't watching? Can anybody explain that? Why, why is this woman doing this stupid shit? Anybody? Because I don't know. I'm just asking. Is this something that, that women do that I, I, I don't know or understand? She's venting at her phone instead of her kids. But she's... I, I don't know. I don't know. Sean said give up custody. That makes sense. That, that, that makes perfect sense. It's just things I just don't understand. Like, why, why are you doing all this? Because this woman is so angry, but why the hell are you so angry? What, why? And I'm saying, you, you get angry, you know, things go wrong, but why don't you get on the phone with the damn man instead of getting on TikTok saying this stupid shit? And you ladies wonder why we look at y'all like y'all nuts. Don't nobody want to be with no stupid ass shit like that? I don't, I don't understand. But it, it is what it is. It just is what it is. This woman is angry as I don't know what. And like, oh, you know, why is this? This is excessive. This is ridiculous. Because I'll show smash. I'll show, uh, yeah, I'll show put some all over that, uh, that little pretty. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll show smash. But you ladies be so beautiful, but just dumb as a box of rocks. And it's, and it's just sad. It's just really, really, really sad. How can y'all be so beautiful, but just dumb as a box of rocks? Because some of y'all might look at yourself and be like, I'm so beautiful. Why I can't find no man? Because you're possibly dumb as a box of rocks. And until you get your life together, get some damn therapy, do something, nobody's going to want you. Because we men are not stupid. We see y'all with y'all little stupid ass problems miles away. <laughs> we still going to smash though. And then get your ass up out of our house and you wonder why nobody wants to be with your ass. That's the reason why. You four kid, four baby daddy, damn, uh, almost a six pack of baby daddy having ass women. It's, it's, it's really sad. But I smash. Let, let, let her be in Atlanta. I, I smash. But <laughs> I don't know. I just feel bad for women because it's just like, it just seems like y'all are so lost. You know, it's like y'all are like a cat with a bag over your head and don't even know that you could just do that and the bag would be gone. But instead, y'all... You know how a cat, you ever seen a cat with a, uh, <laughs> yeah, lady almost got a six pack of baby daddies. <laughs> it's, it's sad, man. You ever seen a, you ever put a bowl on the top, uh, a cat's head instead of the cat just being like, take the bowl off. The cat is like, <laughs> just take the bowl off your head. And that's the thing with women. It's just like women just, you just put some on the head instead of them taking it off. They just like, <laughs> just take it off. <laughs> but this is what we see women. This is, this is how we see y'all. Like the simplest thing going on and y'all are just like, I don't know, who the hell is walking around with a, almost a six pack of baby daddies? It's, it's, it's disgusting. So, ladies, um, I don't know. I don't know. Get some damn therapy. Pray. Go to church. Do something. Because there's no way in hell I let a woman with four kids. Well, never mind. Because I did, I, I did say I'll smash them. So, <laughs> it is what it is. But, all right, y'all.
if y'all want to see uh, me more often, because I ain't doing videos on YouTube every damn day like I was, but if you want to see me more often, one, hit the like button, two, join my Patreon. My Patreon is linked in the top of this chat. Join my Patreon. Join my Patreon. Go to my Patreon right now. Is a pin? Is a link pinned in the chat? It's ten dollars a month. Go join the Patreon. Let's get it. I'm putting video after video after video after video after video on my Patreon. I just started it. I'm having a little celebration over there. So hit the link that is in the chat and join my Patreon. And I will talk to y'all later.